scanning for audio. And welcome to yet another Tin Dog podcast. This time we're going to be discussing Star Cops, the brand new Star Cop series. Now, what they've done is they've gone from box sets across to, um, well, I'm guessing standalone releases. Well, they're not. Should we call them monthly releases? I'm hoping they do come out every month. So, this is basically series four of the Big Finish Star Cops. Star Cops Blood Moon, that's what this whole new run's going to be called. I was killed yesterday. Okay, I'm guessing Blood Moon. We all know what a Blood Moon is. Oh my god, anyone who plays Zelda or has a Zelda player in the family will be shouting, Oh no, it's a Blood Moon. But that's not what this is about. Okay, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Uh, released January 2024. Written by Andrew Smith, who's always going to pull up the goods. And got David Calder, Trevor Cooper, and I don't know why she's not listed. Linda Newton is not listed as starring by. Bit of an oversight from Big Finish. I'm not usually that scathing, but she's that good and she's original cast. Let's put them in the starring by, shall we? Unless it's a contractual thing. In that case, I slap my own wrists and move on. This title was released in 2024 and it will be available to the general public elsewhere on the 29th of February. 29th of February, it sounds weird when we do that. It's the near future and mankind has expanded its presence into space. Maintaining law and order beyond Earth is the responsibility of the International Space Force. You know all this, known as the Star Cops. Their leader is and commander Nathan Spring. A Star Cop investigator. Star Cops investigate a murder on Earth, leading to amazing revelations. The team's resilience is tested as the fallout affects the next case. Investigating a brutal murder is a prominent, of a prominent neuroscientist at a South African spaceport, Nathan and Kenzie find themselves questioning the usual witnesses. An unusual witness, that's the point of this whole story. The murder victim himself. The trail leads to the moon, where the recent arrival comes under suspicion. A new courier for lunar logistics may not be all she seems, but is she the killer? Please note this is a collector's edition CD, strictly strictly limited to 1,000 copies. Okay, big fan of Star Cops, and I've even forgiven Big Finish for getting rid of the theme tune. Most of the time I've forgiven them anyway. And Star Cops was a great TV show. I always wistfully think of that one story. Sorry, I've done this before. Every time I talk about Star Cops, I always go back to the Little Green Man storyline, which was just brilliant. So, there is a logical reason that the... mm, Sorry, I want to talk to you as if you've already heard this. It's really quite annoying that I can't just go, oh, what about, mm. and did you, no, I can't. But I can't just sit here going, yep, another fantastic entry to the Star Cops universe, because that's just not on. So let's deal with this. The whole thing, because you'll hear it in the trailer, where Box is possessed by the AI recreation of the dead person, makes a lot of sense. Box has been massively underused in these whole big finish storylines and Box was kind of my favourite character. Let's face it, it's arguable that Box has become basically everybody's phone, but Box is an actual AI. The only person who can't see this is Nathan, who's admittedly voicing Box as well, probably doesn't enjoy it as a performance thing, so that's okay, I get that. Which is a shame because Box is, you know, always was my favourite. Let's face it, who didn't want a robot as a friend? Oh, that would be... I always wanted a robot as a friend. I've rambled. Marvellous. So, you've got this basic storyline. The the weird bit is, is that I've got so used to getting the boxed sets, is that I got to the end and went, Great! Where are we going next? 
well, we've got the extras. Okay, brilliant. When's the next one? And then my phone started playing it again. And my heart sank because I went, oh, I really wanted to hear the extra one now. But that's all right, because all that's done is created a kind of an emotional cliffhanger so that I can hear the next one when the next one gets released, which would be great. In fact, bear with me one second. Normally the Big Finish website tells me which one's next and what it's called. Chances are it's going to be called Blood Moon something or other, which is fine. The new character who is introduced, the logistics person, makes total sense, and I'm so looking forward to going, finding out more about them. Um, and the ongoing narrative, again, you are presented with that whole BBC thing with a small cast. Uh, Torchwood does this a lot, where you've got a very small cast, so you need to work out who the killer or the threat is from the very small um, set of people. But that was always going to be the case. It was the case on TV, so that just makes it more realistic. I love Star Cops, and I love this story. I'll play you the trailer, and you can decide for yourself, as always. So, until next time, be seeing you. That was the Tin Dog Podcast. Everything discussed is the intellectual property of others. No infringement is intended. For early access to reviews, follow the show on YouTube or Twitter, at Tin Dog Podcast. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.